I can picture this episode, like the title is called So Long As You're Here. I, I can picture something like Meliodas saying that to Elizabeth or Elizabeth saying that to Meliodas. I will continue to fight no matter what, as long as you're here. Some shit like that, you know? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with the finale of Seven Deadly Sins Season 2. I am very excited. Again, shout out to Omni, my Discord mod who has been saying forever. Two things I, I know from Omni. One, he wants me to watch No Game No Life Zero, the movie, and Seven Deadly Sins. I'm doing one of those. I don't know when the other one will get done. I just want to say thank you. This has been an amazing ride. This is, in my opinion, this is 10 times better than Season 1. Season 1 was good. It's just, this is just nuts. Whereas we ended off with Meliodas, who's quite demonic, quite looking crazy, trying to fight Fraudrin. And I, I'm just going to leave it at that because I have no idea what's going to happen next. Remember, if you guys want to see what is currently replacing Seven Deadly Sins, check out that Patreon down below. You get early access. And if Patreon's not really your thing, please support me by leaving a like and a nice comment down below. It truly, truly means a lot. Remember, with certain show or not with certain shows, with certain shows like Seven Deadly Sins, I cannot put the reaction on YouTube. So click the link in the description. But with the ending and beginning of every season of every show, the full length, which is normally only on Patreon, is available to you guys for free. So that link, which is normally just the highlight, should be the full length for you guys. Then come back here for the review. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. Let's hop into this. Seven Deadly Sins, Season 2, Episode 24, as so long as you're here. Well, for a finale, that was fucking incredible, I gotta say. It was a lot of setup for season three, which I'm very excited about. Like I said, no matter what happens in the poll, if it doesn't win, because I heard the animation is absolutely horrendous. If it doesn't win, I'm gonna be reading the manga. I don't know if I'll do it on the channel, most likely in my free time, because I don't know how manga reactions work on YouTube. I've never watched one, but this was fantastic. I love Merlin. Merlin is my wife. Me and Escanor are fighting as soon as I see him. Vaughn, amazing friend. Meliodas, I understand exactly where he's coming from when he's like, I hate the fact that I become like this and I love killing so much, but I have to become this way if I'm order if I'm going to constantly be saving you, protecting you, Elizabeth. And uh, but like Elizabeth also doesn't need saving. Like if she can get her fucking demon goddess powers on you know on par, you know, I'm just saying. This is crazy. This was a fantastic ending. I gotta say though, my favorite part of this entire episode, easily, easily was Fraudrin. I was so taken back by that that I thought they were gonna fool me out again. They were gonna dupe me and make it depress, like make it super dark. But the fact that he had to live in Dravis's body for years and and ended up raising Griamore and faking that entire time. And it all stemmed from the fact that Meliodas left in order to protect someone he loved. And Gother said that. And he's like, no, I don't get why you would do that. And it, oh, bro, that was so touching. And Griamore was willing to sacrifice his young self to protect his father and everyone around them. Like, that would, if, if, if that right there could change the heart of one of the darkest, murderous demons ever, he's an actual demon, then come on, man. That was beautiful, man. That was touching. This, Like I said, this season was fantastic. Shout out to Omni. Who knows what's going to happen after this. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys on the next whatever we react to. Thank you, Dapper Squad. This was a fantastic show. I love this shit. Peace out.